Hello there, I'm Polly Ann here from the Embassy Theatre Skegness and this message to you all is rather bittersweet. As the time comes that at last I'm able to tell you about our plans to reopen for this festive season, we're poised with optimism of course. It would be naive to guarantee our plans will go ahead, especially in light of the tier system that's set to come into effect imminently. Therefore, I want to make it clear right here and right now that whatever you might book for the festive season here at the Embassy is backed by an automatic money-back commitment from Magna Vitae and ourselves in the case that any events do have to be cancelled. So please take a look at what we've programmed on offer. Make your plans and book with confidence in the knowledge that not only your finances will be secure, but you will also be entering a COVID secure establishment committed to providing an extremely efficient track and trace system, social distancing and seating plan, which you'll be able to see online and the highest attention to building cleanliness, all done with the biggest smile on our face, of course. This said, and without much further ado, I'm very excited to present something brand new for the Embassy Theatre in Skegness, which will in the future months help us with the transition back to live staged entertainment too, and also provide yet another string to our digital bow as it were. Stage to Screen is a project funded in part by the DCMS, but also supported by the East Lincolnshire Arts Group and supported from everyone who gave to our Survive to Thrive campaign which is ongoing. Thank you so much. We couldn't have done it without you. You know who you are and so do I. The installation of the new equipment is underway and when restrictions are fully lifted, we look forward to launching a season of screenings for you. Our plans, as I've said, for this December may alter, but I really must share with you the absolutely beautiful programme of traditional family festive film and live streamed stage screenings we have lined up. These include the Royal Ballet Nutcracker, live streamed New Year's Eve concert from the Berlin Harmonic Orchestra and a Christmas Spectacular from Catherine Jenkins at the Royal Albert Hall. For the holidays, families can enjoy festive favourites including the Polar Express, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe and Baz Luhrmann's Moulin Rouge for the New Year. And of course, one of the most famous Christmas movie pictures of all time. Extremely poignant and quite relevant for 2020, I think, too. It's a wonderful life. Our plan is to top this off in style with festive teas and snacks with Santa upstairs at the embassy. Oh, virtually, of course. Being such a busy man, I understand Zoom has literally changed Santa's life. Christmas is about coming together in whichever way, shape or form we can manage this year. About sharing, about telling tales of times past and sharing hopes for our future too. Theatre is storytelling, film is storytelling and arguably the best storyteller of all time was Charles Dickens. A new adaptation of A Christmas Carol is set to open our festive programme this December. As I said, it's new, it's exclusive, and in fact, wherever you are in the country, if you have the chance to see this at your local independent theatre or cinema, you will not be disappointed. Thank you for listening to me again. Keep safe, please keep smiling. We will see you soon. Is he the bad one? Very bad. And are there guys? You will be haunted by three spirits. Let's all get back to normal. And what could be more normal than Scrooge and Tiny Tim at Christmas? Bah humbug. I am the ghost of Christmas past. Come in, come in and know me better, man. You fear the world too much. It was a long night, if it were only a night. And how did little Tim behave? Oh, as good as gold. 
as good as gold and better. Nothing beats the power of cinema. What are cinemas for to get lost in?